Once you've created a process template, you can go ahead and start a process job by clicking this green button at the top here. A process job looks just the same as the process template, except you can't actually edit any of the content and each item here is now turned into a check mark, which you can complete. So you can create the process template and actually have somebody go through and complete it. You can rename. So for example, if we're creating the newsletter for, for Jan 30th, and that can become the name of this particular process job. As someone from your team goes through and completes the process, you can see their progress on the progress bar here, and you can also see it on the progress circle in the sidebar. So you can see the stage that different processes are at. You can see who created this particular process job and who most recently updated it in the activity feed. And again, the activity feed is going to be expanded to include every time somebody checks a process off, a particular task off, every time somebody spawns a new process job, every time somebody completes a process job, and any time somebody leaves a comment. Basically, any action that happened will soon be appearing in the activity feed. Another key difference with a process job is that the person who's going through and completing the process can actually leave comments against individual tasks. So they could say, and they could leave a comment against that particular task. Comments will be shown in the activity feed and soon you'll also be able to receive email notifications of comments as they come through in real time. If you want to skip ahead and complete all of the tasks in the process without having to tick them all, you can click the check all button and that will automatically complete the process for you. And once you're done and you no longer need that process job, you can simply archive it. In the future, we're also going to be building out reporting features, which will allow managers to get a snapshot across their organization, seeing who's completing processes, how fast people are completing tasks, which tasks are being completed the quickest and slowest, the time in between tasks, which employees are performing better, faster, doing more processes, any bottlenecks, etc. So you're going to have these kind of reporting abilities to do optimization against your processes for your organization.